this this clip that is really funny from Mad Men. I don't know if you watch Mad Men, but it's a show about creative agencies in the in the 60s and the 70s. And um, in this clip is really funny. Oh, here are our miracle workers now. You know, Pete Campbell, of course, your account executive, if you choose to do business with us. And this handsome fellow is Don Draper, the best creative director in New York. So this is the creative director meeting a new client. Well, at least the building. Pleasure to meet you. Oh, sorry about that. I'm Rachel Mencken. Oh, uh, I'm sorry. I was uh, expecting... Uh... You were expecting me to be a man. My father was, too. Of course, in those times, you think the guy is the, is the new client. <laughs> and you are... Why, Don, you remember David Cohen from the art department. Of course, David, one of the rising stars here at Sterling Cooper. Of course, David, one of the rising stars at Sterling Cooper. This is a good example of the attitude in advertising agencies. You are going to be kind of meaningless, especially if you're a graphic designer, especially if you're a junior. People is going to say hello, whatever, but they don't care. They don't care too much. My advice for you guys that are thinking in going to an advertising agency to just to, you know, to get your first job and trying to build a portfolio because they have this, these big brands. This is not going to be the case. Advertising agencies are not for specifically for graphic designers. It depends what you are doing. For, for the most part, it's not a design driven company. You're not gonna be doing brand identities or, or web design. You're gonna be doing more advertising campaigns. My only advice if you end up going to one of these great agencies, even if you are a junior designer or midway, stand your ground and leave at six. Don't look around, don't ask around, don't ask for permission, just say, I'm leaving. And then you leave, you just be firm because they can't fire you. They have this tendency of doing the trick of the dinner, which is they will ask you around 5.30, if you want dinner and a lot of people of course if you are you know you don't want to cook you if the company is buying you dinner you are like of course i want dinner but then you think because they are asking you at 5 30 that the dinner is going to come at 6 but they ordered the dinner at 7 30 or 8. you are much better off cooking at home living at 6 and doing your own thing rather than eating pizza at 8 and staying two more hours doing free work and this when it happens very often you end up going to the office at 9 and then you end up leaving the office at 8, 8.30, 9 every day. You basically don't have any social life and then when you actually want to have it, they don't let you go because then it, there is a deadline and then there is, there is always a deadline. And if you don't believe me, because I'm just another YouTuber uh, talking, uh, I'm going to share with you more comments that went on my videos. You can actually go through the videos and, and read them. But this one is from a person that apparently had a really terrible experience in advertising. So this person says, oh my God, I wish I had seen something like this when I was starting out or someone would have told me. I worked at an advertising agency for around eight months and got so burnt out. The only payment I received for the extra hours was the food they bought to give us for dinner, but nothing else. This is what I told you at the beginning of the video. They're gonna try to lure you into, into dinners, into cheap things like uh, free pizza and all stuff like this. I was so irritable, gain weight for all the takeout meals. Cause that's the thing, they're gonna give you takeout food, so nothing else. I was struggling with severe anxiety, doing the, the impossible deadlines and had to get out of there as quickly as I could. I'm never going back to an advertising agency. Also, the boss always left around 7 p.m. He left around 7 p.m. wishing us luck. I'm by the next day, got mad that no one was there on time. This is a comment from somebody that went on a burnout only for eight months. And it seems like a, like a nightmare, like eight months working as a nightmare. And if you are not very strong, very, you stand your ground, you are gonna feel like pushed around and you are gonna uh, suffer. You're gonna have a really hard time. And the burnout is really serious thing, guys. It's a very serious thing because it's gonna take you years to get out of it. And this is somebody explaining the story, how this person was really burnt out and how decided to quit and start all over and do something else and how much uh, improved his life. So I'm gonna read through real quick, but just so you know, to get an idea. I want to check with you how I was able to free myself from the toxic culture of advertising agencies. I went through a stage in which I did not want to continue living. As a result of the long hours in which I worked in the advertising agencies in the creative part. I was sick physically and psychologically. I felt that freedom was for a few and not for me. Also, when you live in this environment is under a lot of stress, you are going to feel you're going to get sick very often as well. 
I decided to take action and appropriate my life. I knew that I could not transform a culture that had been established in this, in this way, but I could change myself. With no experience in the field and with a lot of uncertainty, at the age of 28, I decided to learn about marketing data and get into more tech side of my career. The result, the happiest stage of my life. I had time to study, exercise, share with my loved ones and continue advancing in my field of work. This has been translated from LinkedIn, so it's not great English, but basically in the end he says to the publicist, designer, creative, uh, uh, who is going through what I went through, I tell you that there are other options, there are other things you can do, and this is what I'm here to tell you guys. You can start working for a design agency, uh, brand design, brand identity design company, um, digital design agency, something, a place where it's more design driven. The advertising agencies are not the only place. And this is a good message because a lot of you still believe that the best way to start is to go to an advertising agency and it's not. Anyway, those are my two cents for today, guys. Thank you so much and I will see you in the next one. Ciao.